Next up, let's talk about what actually happens when that server responds with something. So when I go to reddit slash chickens or slash r slash chickens, I'll hit enter again. My web browser is sending an HTTP request. It finds its way eventually to Reddit servers. Reddit servers respond with a web page, and then I see the web page here magically. But that's not exactly how it works. Once I send that request and it makes its way to Reddit servers, what happens? Well, Reddit servers don't respond with a complete web page looking like what we see right here, right? It doesn't look like this web page immediately. Instead, they respond with instructions or the server responds with instructions with code that my browser can understand and then display for me so the job of my browser is essentially to display or to render content for me for humans for human eyes or if somebody's using a screen reader for human ears but to take code that comes from a server or from some http response and render it in some way so I like to imagine uh, I IKEA instructions. If you've ever been to IKEA and bought furniture, it's kind of what the server is responding with is the instructions and the pieces to make a sofa. But it's not a sofa itself. It's the instructions and the pieces. And then you have to take it home and actually build the sofa. It's kind of like the same kind of the same idea. Uh, when I ask for this web page, reddit.com slash r slash chicken slash top, I'm sending a request, I get a response that is the instructions for the web page, and then my browser takes those instructions and builds the web page. So what do these instructions actually look like? What are they? Well, on any page, if you're in Chrome, you can right click and go to view page source. You don't need to do this, but uh, it's good to know that you can. This is the underlying page, the actual content that results in this web page right here. So this is what the actual response includes. This is coming back from the server. These are the IKEA instructions for the web page. And then the browser, in this case Chrome, but whatever browser you're using, is set up. Its, its main job is to understand these instructions and turn them into something that makes sense to us as humans. Assuming you are a human as well, I think most of you students are, we can understand this web page. So this is turned into this. Every single web page you look at, whether it's this here or Wikipedia's, I'll right click, view page source. This is the underlying code, the source for this web page that comes back from Wikipedia's servers in this case. And this is what we see once the browser gets its hands on it, once the browser actually renders it. So this code here all consists of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Those are the three core technologies that my browser understands and that web pages are made up of. So here's another diagram I spent a little too long making to illustrate this. Uh, if we search on Google for anything, in this case, silky chickens, it's the breed of chickens, one of the breeds of chickens that I have at home. If we search, we hit Google search there, I'm sending an HTTP request and that request eventually makes its way to Google servers. And one of those Google servers, wherever it is, is going to receive this incoming request. I'm asking for google.com slash search, blah, 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 ch silky chickens. That server has the task of figuring out what I'm asking for based off of the incoming request and the URL I'm asking for. It will build me a web page, which in the case of Google takes a lot of work. Whatever it, it does, that magic to build that web page and figure out the ranking and the different results and ads and all that fun stuff. And then it responds back with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, that little box in the middle here, writing that rainbow. Those three technologies, what we saw over here, this is the underlying code. And then the browser takes that and turns it into this web page. We can see our beautiful silky chickens. They're very funny looking chickens, although that one looks like it's being cooked, so not as funny.